Greetings from Arizona. This is Tony Kuiper. The TK8 panel is finally finished. A beta version was made available in April this year and several users provided valuable suggestions. That feedback, along with new features already planned, will hopefully make TK8 the best version ever. TK8 uses Photoshop's new Unified Extensibility Platform, also known as UXP. This architecture is used throughout other Adobe applications, so extensions built with it should have a long lifespan. UXP plugins, like TK8, can be used starting with Photoshop 2021 and work on both Windows and Mac platforms, including the new Apple M1 computers. Almost everything from the previous TK7 panel has been incorporated into TK8, but things have been rearranged a bit. However, if you're familiar with TK7, you should be able to navigate TK8 quite easily. There are three modules, Combo, CX, and Multimask. Combo and CX have the same functions. The buttons are just arranged differently to accommodate your preferred workspace. As with every new version, there are lots of great new features in TK8. I'm going to just quickly show you where the new things are located. The video series goes over everything in detail, and there will be new tutorials posted online as well. An instructions PDF is also available online and in the download folder. Starting with the Combo and CX modules, there are several new Photoshop functions that can be accessed from these buttons on the main interface. They provide a quick way to run Photoshop without having to search through menus or memorize keyboard shortcuts. There's a new watermark feature to make applying a logo to your images easier than ever. There is expanded web sharpening functionality, including four programmable presets. And you can also name and save the sharpened image. There are new actions in the TK Actions menu. and new and expanded ways to run your personal actions directly from the module. Overall, I think you'll find these new features valuable additions to the Combo and CX modules. Moving over to the Multimask module now, it's the new mask making engine for TK8. Luminosity, zone, color, saturation, vibrance, and now edge masks can all be generated here, starting with these buttons in the main interface. The actual mask making interface has been upgraded too. There are larger buttons with three distinct sections, mask, modify, and output. They allow you to quickly generate and deploy masks based on pixel level data in the image itself. So you always get a mask that's perfectly feathered to your particular image, regardless of the type of mask you make. Multimask also has a new color grading feature accessed by this button. It essentially treats color grading as an adjustment layer, with the color grading interface serving as the properties panel for making color grading adjustments. Shadows, midtones, and highlights can all be color graded using the color wheel and this slider at the bottom adjusts the brightness of the different tonal ranges. I'll turn my previously made color grading adjustment layer off and on a few times so you can see how the color grading adjustment affects the image. Using an adjustment layer means color grading has only minimal effect on file size and still allows you to come back later to fine tune the adjustment. Back on the main interface, there is a button to access layer mask mode for creating and adjusting any layer mask. It has new buttons for making luminosity layer masks and additional ways for adjusting them. There's also an edit selection feature for adjusting an active selection as a mask. I'll make a quick selection here so you can see how it becomes a mask when I click the button. 
and then the interface provides different adjustment options for the mask. The multi-mask module also has a new workflow extras section to incorporate techniques from different photographers. Right now it can be used for making color and black and white sketches from the image and for adding gradient effects to the image. But there's room for more items and I hope to add to this section in the future. And finally, the bottom buttons of the multi-mask module provide one-click access to generate the most commonly used adjustment layers to make adding adjustment layers to the image easier than ever. So, there's a lot of new features in TK8 and I've probably forgotten to mention a few. However, TK8 isn't all about features. Its real purpose is to expand your creativity and control inside Photoshop. It would be nearly impossible to manually generate even a small fraction of the different types of masks available in TK8. But these masks are now an integral part of image development for many photographers. It's hard to imagine not having luminosity, zone, and color masks available in Photoshop anymore. With TK8, these masks can all be created, modified, and output with just a few mouse clicks, and they open up whole new worlds of possibilities. TK8 helps you find light and even create light that maybe only you can see. And so it lets you express your light fully and show the whole world what your world looks like. In the end, each image becomes your light. TK8 can help you discover it and share it and to experience it in new ways. This is an exciting journey and certainly one every photographer should explore. So have fun with TK8 and best wishes for good light.